Welcome to the Purity Chrome tutorial on peak sampling. In preparative HPLC or FPLC, peaks are usually not as well separated as in analytic HPLC. One often must deal with difficult separations showing mostly badly baseline separated peaks. What you see here is an example of such a run in which peaks are fairly well separated. However, you can also see some minor shoulders over here or some minor impurities over there. When carrying out these kinds of purification runs, you have different possibilities on how to fractionate and automatically detect different peak situation using Purity Chrome. The first possibility for fraction collection is using the fraction limiter. It is often used in standard FPLC runs and it means that upon setting the fraction collector into the fractionation mode, it will collect the same size fractions over the whole run. The limiter you would use in a method um, in this way that you are starting to set up your method as you're used to. So basically, um, set the flow rate and the composition of your pump, you set the valve positions, the collector, and then what you're doing is you define uh, the volume that is used for the limiter calculations. I would go into the next tube in my fraction collector after one milliliter. And this will be triggered by setting the fraction collector into fraction. As you can see here, at time point 4 minutes, we set the fraction collector into fraction, and then from here on each milliliter, we will go to the next position in our fraction collector. The second fractionation possibility is the fractionation by a threshold which is an optimal fractionation method for fairly well baseline separated and defined peaks. Here a threshold is set at a specific UV level, indicated by the blue line as you can see here, and every peak or UV signal which is um, exceeding this threshold will trigger the fractionation by setting the fraction collector into the fractionation mode. If the UV signal falls below this threshold, then the fractionation valve will switch to waste and stop the fractionation. However, if you have a peak like this, where a shoulder is above this threshold, the software cannot discriminate here. So this will be collected as one peak. You can either set um, a threshold higher or you can use uh, the peak sampling, which I will explain later on in this video, or you can also use a limiter in combination with a threshold. Meaning that everything applies that I was telling you before for the limiter fractionation option, just that it's combined with a threshold. And it would look like this in this case, that when you go above this threshold here, you start with the fractionation, and then every 0.25 milliliter, the next tube will be used for collection. And whenever the threshold is, um, the signal goes below the threshold, then it will go back to waste. Like this, you have um, small portions of your peak which um, give you the highest purity. I will now show you on how you can create a method using the threshold. And again, you start by simply putting the composition of the pumps, the valves, and so on. You start your chromatogram, and here you can already see that um, I set the limiter at 0.25 milliliters, so that it's really narrowly fractionated. For sure, you always have to um, think about your flow rate when setting a limiter. When you go with one milliliter per minute, this volume is perfect, but when you go to higher volumes, also your fraction limiter volume will increase. The threshold, you can set in the threshold tab here, and um, here you put in when you want to start um, surveilling the peaks via a threshold, and where you want to end doing this, and also 
um, you can set the UV value and the data channel you want to use. You can use any data channel that you're recording. And the important thing is that you define what the software should do upon um, exceeding the threshold. And here I put in fraction collector is going to fraction. And what the software should do when um, going below, below the threshold limit. And here I set the fraction collector going to waste. And then the collector should step to the next position so that when starting fractionation again, it will use a clean vial for fractionation. You can also use um, two different thresholds for starting and ending a fractionation. Um, this you would do by um, inserting two fractions and in one threshold, probably with a lower UV uh, signal intensity, you will just uh, define what's happening when going or when the threshold over event is occurring, and in the second threshold you would then just define what should happen when um, the signal falls below this threshold. The third possibility on how to uh, fractionate your peaks is to use the peak sampling functionality in Purity Chrome. In this peak recognition mode, so to say, you will use the slope of an increasing increasing or declining peak um, to determine the peak situation that is before you. This is best used for peaks with shoulders or um, with valleys, as you can see, for example, here in the front. We can set up the fractionation and upon seeing that there is a little shoulder, the collector will step to the next position to not um, contaminate this peak area with this small impurity that's coming off next to it. Also, this is best shown here, this little contamination down here is then collected in, the, in another tube than this really pure peak here. And then you use this peak sampling tab, which you can either integrate by using this button, create and edit peak window, you can also put again here a chromatogram of your previously of a previous run, which you want to collect via this peak sampling, and then you can drag and drop a peak window of your choice and give it also a name. Here I have one peak window with over all my peaks with the same um, values. However, you can also do several peak windows with different values for different peak situations when you're having, when you really know your run. So what you have to put in here um, is the data source you want to use for recognizing your fractionation events. The filter factor um, defines how many data points are used um, to average over to determine the slope and so on. Slope sensitivity is the slope of the increasing or declining peak. Um, the lower you put it, the more sensitive for sure your fractionation will become. Um, the maximum baseline level is important uh, to differentiate in this peak sampling whether you have a peak end or a peak valley. So whatever is over those 5 millivolts, this will be de defined as a peak valet, and whatever is then below this maximum baseline level will be defined as peak end. This maximum fractions and success fraction spot is um, for special motorized valves which do not apply to Knauer hardware. And the same as in the threshold windows, you can define whatever the software should do when clicking on those points. So what you can define here at those buttons is you can define that at a peak start your fraction collector should go into fractionation mode and upon um, recognizing a peak it should go to the next position. Also on the when we are recognizing a peak valley it should go to the next position or when recognizing a shoulder, it should step to the next position. And at the end um, of this peak window, I want to stop my fractionation altogether. 
What is also possible is to combine this peak sampling with the threshold upon which um, peak sampling will be um, triggered. This you can do by inserting a threshold and upon um, yeah, upon going over 8 milli AU of this UV signal, you will uh, put the peak sampling to a, an on state and upon going below this um, certain uh, below this threshold, the peak sampling will be set off. I hope with this I could help you to find the perfect fractionation model for your fractionation.